Today, we are going to be talking about types of friction. The types of friction are static friction, limiting friction, and kinetic friction. There are two subtypes of kinetic friction, rolling friction and sliding friction. Before we get started, let's review friction. Friction is a type of force that opposes motion. So if I apply force on the books to the right, then the friction will act in the opposite direction, that is, to the left. The first type of friction is static friction, the type of friction that comes into play when there is no movement of the object. Here the magnitude of friction is more than any other type of friction. Here the friction balances the force applied, so the frictional force is equal to the force applied. Now let us bring the table and the books back. If I apply force to the right, then the frictional force will act towards the left and be of equal magnitude to the force applied and so they balance each other and there is no movement. Static friction is a self-adjusting force. We know that static friction will always be equal to the amount of force applied. So. If the amount of force applied is 10 newtons, then the static friction will also be 10 newtons. If it is 30 newtons, then the static friction will also be 30 newtons. If it is 50 newtons, then static friction will also be 50 newtons. The next type of friction is limiting friction. It is the type of friction that comes into play when the object is just about to move. It is the maximum value of static friction. When the amount of force applied on an object exceeds the limiting friction, limiting friction is converted into kinetic friction. Here again, there is no motion of the object. Also, I would like to say that if the limiting friction for a surface is 10 newtons and the force applied is 12 newtons, then the friction won't adjust. That is because as soon as the force applied is greater than the limiting friction, the type of friction that comes into play is kinetic friction. And kinetic friction is not a self-adjusting force. Kinetic friction is the type of friction that comes into play when the object is in motion. It has the least magnitude amongst the types of friction. It is not self-adjusting in nature. In kinetic friction, the object does actually move and the amount of force applied on the object is greater than limiting friction. It has two subtypes, sliding friction and rolling friction. Sliding friction. It is the type of friction that comes into play when one object is sliding over the other. It has a higher magnitude than rolling friction. And it looks something like this. Here the books are sliding over the table. Rolling friction. It is the type of friction that comes into play when one object rolls over the other. It is lesser than sliding friction. So suppose we have a ball on the table. It will roll and hence rolling friction will be acting on it. It is important to know the decreasing order of types of friction in terms of magnitude. Limiting friction has the most magnitude than static friction, sliding friction and rolling friction. That's it for this video. Keep watching, keep learning because science is easy.